I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. Much to the chagrin of the deep state, the New World Order crowd, the criminal international banking syndicate, the shadow government, the globalist syndicate, the globalist cult. No, they don't want you to have access to this video, which is why notifications are completely suppressed. View counts are manipulated. It's all about blocking you from the information that I provide, which is why all of the content I produce and I'm behind with all the contacts that I've developed over the past 35 plus years is at DaveJanda.com. I do the radio show three hours every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern. You can tune in live free. Just hit the listen live button at DaveJanda.com if you want the podcasts uh, uh, commercial free. They're available 24-7 on our subscription site, along with the five other shows I do a week that puts you ahead of this globalist constructed curve that ends in a brick wall with the shattering of your freedoms, your liberties, your future, your life, your health, and our constitutional republic. One-stop shopping. For content, you will get no other spot, place at DaveJanda.com. I hope you'll join us and become part of our Freedom family. Today's video is entitled, Freedom is Calling You. You. My mom, who was a historian, a history teacher by trade, and uh, anyone who knew her, uh, a motivator in chief, if you will, her favorite saying from a historical figure was from Winston Churchill. And the saying was, you make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you give. Give. In other words, action. 99%, eh, maybe a little less, the vast majority, let's just say that, the vast majority of the public, the freedom-loving public, lives that Churchill quote every day. You make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you give to others, to endeavors that support freedom and liberty. Now, the cult, the globalist cult, the globalist syndicate, whatever you want to call it, they have their own version of that quote. And it goes something like this. You make a, a living by what you steal. You make a life by what you destroy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kunstler. James Howard Kunstler. Political commentator recently wrote, the American administrative blob has not just lied about everything it does, but uses the government machinery at hand to destroy everything it touches in a terminal hysterical effort to cover up its misdeeds, including especially its crimes against its own people. See, one of, the, one of the problems in the freedom movement is we say, well, that was a bad series of accidents that led to this situation or situations. Uh, it was bad series of coincidences. It was, and it's easy to say based on who they installed in the Oval Office in 2020, but, well, it's all because of incompetence. Can't string four words together. Shuffles around, mumbles around, falling down. Ah, it's incompetence. No, 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 no. It's not, not, none of what we're seeing. The destruction, the ruining of lives, of, of nation states is not an accident, it's not a coincidence, and it's not from incompetence. It's all willful on behalf of the banking syndicate the bankster families. And this globalist cult 
have a, has a lot of cards in, in, in their, or a lot of plays in their playbook. But the one they love that brings the most chaos and destruction and stealing is war. It's Medley Butler. Mm, at the time of his passing, the most decorated Marine in U.S. history. In 1933, wrote a book, and I've talked about it a number of times over the years, but war is a racket mm -hmm. to benefit the bankster class. And they use war to not only get rid of us, who they fondly call useless eaters, but they use it to launder money. Out of their wars that they play both sides of, they get more power control and more financial resources. So it should not surprise anybody that right now we, we have a forefront war going on. The Russia-Ukraine front, the Middle East front, the China-Taiwan front, and you name your country, including right here in the good old U.S. of A, the domestic front that they have declared war on each and every freedom-loving citizen. So let's turn to Justin Smith from The Burning Platform. The cult ultimately wants you destitute, divided, and destroyed. America is hurtling toward a full-blown hot civil war. Not an accident, not a coincidence, not from incompetence. It never ceases to amaze me how little so many people in this country have done to train their minds to critically analyze information. Just think about the past five years. They have eyes to see and, and ears to hear, and yet somehow the truth of any major issue still seems to evade them, or they simply refuse to recognize the truth with it standing right in front of them, slapping them in the face. Look around. Half or more of America's citizenry have lost their minds and are six steps or more removed from reality, either due to the mind-numbing communist indoctrination they've absorbed from their education in the public school system, something genetic or a trauma from their life, some new maniacal drug that has them hooked and out of their minds, or a combination of all of the above. It doesn't help when we have self-serving corrupt people in high office promising to save the gullible and ill-informed from their hell and the misery it brings. And if anyone stands in your way in the pursuit of any evil, it is they who will be called evil and fallen upon by the full weight of the U.S. federal government, USA. It's sort of like I'm standing on the riverbank watching the, quote, ship of fools, and quote, sailing over the river falls in denial of their own mortality, thinking their crazy ideas will save them and hold them invincible. Or worse, knowing they're going to die and not caring who they drag to hell along with them. I do believe the United States is currently hurling down a path on a fast track to full-blown, hot civil war. What will emerge will either be a nation squashed under an iron-fisted communist government or action, a people united in freedom and liberty under a limited government restrained from ever growing or overreaching as the current federal system has allowed and the Biden regime has done, trampling on the entire constitution and our inalienable God-given rights in the process. The death of America as she has stood is guaranteed unless action, life by what you give, Churchill quote, by what you give, action, unless liberty-minded patriots rise from the ashes. That is the reality and future that we must now face. The globalist cult are evil, sinister, and they're very smart. And they're incredibly manipulative and very successful at doing so, right? I mean, just look at the past five years, right? We 
one of the ways they've become successful is they have convinced too many people not to give to freedom or liberty or the future. To sit on the couch. Mm -hmm. To wait for somebody with a white hat to show up and knock on the door and say, we fixed it. It's all taken care of. We did it all behind the scenes. Yeah, we know it took us long, it took us a long time and millions of people perished in this process because they were exposed to things like this and this and right? And all these wars with all this killing. Ask, ask the average Ukrainian how, how, how that's gone. What, 600,000 dead? Yeah, there's a real W. Or the American taxpayer, 160 billion that we're aware of, gosh knows, in the black budgets and everything. 160, really? How did that work out for the US taxpayer? Yeah, you know, you and me and everybody we know who works hard all day. You make a living by what you get. Yeah. And then you don't make you're not making a life by giving to the government and them sending it over to their WEF World Economic Forum puppet, you know, the dancing whatever he is. To shove it all in his pockets, right? So he has his mansions all over the joint, all over the world. They want you to wait. They don't want action. Mm, no, no, no. They want you waiting for that white hat to show up. All right. Let me make this as tolerable as possible to tell you because I could frame this a number of different ways that you would not be happy with. Let me tell you what. I think the plan should be to trust, okay? Not waiting for some white hat who's not a politician, who's not in the military, okay? The white hat is you. It's me. It's every person that is willing to give make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you give. Give for freedom. It's about educating others. Taking this video, because gosh knows YouTube or, you know, whatever, all these other, they're not going to, oh no, they're going to try to cr cr crush it. Because this is a message they don't want you to hear, let alone send to others. Send it to them about educating themselves with the facts, the data, the truth, not the propaganda spewed through their boob tube that the cult owns and operates and runs to feed you misinformation, disinformation, and no information. Hey, how about that Bachelor show or the Bachelorette show? Or how about let's focus on that? Or what? what's Taylor Swift doing? It's all, all a circus meant to distract you and to keep you on the couch so that you don't give to freedom. Take this video. Share it with friends, families. They might not like the message. Fine. I'm constantly telling people what they need to know and they don't want to hear. But the more people that are educated, the more people that come empowered, the more people that come empowered, the sooner we end this reign of terror. Willful terror by the syndicate. Freedom is calling. And it's calling you. Emerald Robinson, who um, was one of the toughest reporters on the White House detail, was fired by Newsmax a number of years ago because of her hard-hitting questions. 
Tells you something about Newsmax too, right? Yeah. Take a look at you know the guy who runs Newsmax, who is some of his best friends are. Yeah. Can you say globalists? Yeah. And trust me, Fox is no better. I've told you this for 14 years on the radio. Got a lot of heat for it. The Murdochs sit on the board of the Council on Foreign Relations, a globalist think tank and implementation tank. All these media outlets. It's all like going into a Baskin Robbins ice cream store. But they're all different flavors. There's the Fox flavor and the MSNBC flavor and the CNN. But they're all ice cream. They're all owned by the same entity. Which is why somebody like Emerald Robinson, who speaks the truth, got fired. Here's what she recently wrote. Stop fooling yourself that the GOP is coming to save America. So-called white hats, right? Did the GOP, GOP build the wall? Did the GOP secure the border? Did the GOP protect the 2020 election? Did the GOP release the J6 tapes? Did the GOP defend, defund the IRS? Did the GOP defund the FBI? And we could go on and on and on, but that's what you want. And the answer to all that is no. Why? I've told you this based on my experience in D.C., starting in 88, doing healthcare policy at the end of the Reagan administration as a consultant. There's one political party in D.C. and in every state legislature, and actually even locally. They're all infested with this. They're called the Republicrats. They're all owned and operated by a criminal syndicate, the globalist banking syndicate. And they are all beholden to them because they're either bribed or blackmailed or coerced or controlled. None of them have been or will ever be white hats. Anyone who tells you we got an opera, we got a plan. We're not going to tell you the plan. <laughs> we know the plan, but we're not going to tell you. Just wait. Just trust. Sit. It's not a plan. That's not a plan. To, to just, we're not going to know the details of it. Nobody's going to expose you to it. Nobody's going to tell you what you need to do, what you can do to, what you can give to the effort for freedom. Sitting there is not a plan. Telling you to sit there and wait for someone else to show up that will have taken care of it is an operation. An operation meant to keep you on the sidelines so they can put into further implementation their destruction and ruination, ruination operation, and their stealing operation. Go back to Churchill and Ruth Janda. You make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you give. If you do not give, giving your time, giving your effort to the freedom side of this equation, educating and empowering others. And we make it easy. We have a tremendous amount of free content at DaveJanda.com, but where the real true meat of the matter is, where I go into depth, where it's issues I cannot discuss on the radio because of the deep state choke points in the FCC that monitor radio broadcasts. I cannot go into on any social media platform. But I can on my website that is safe and secure. We put thousands of dollars into that site every month to make it that way. So the content is safe and secure and people who visit are safe and secure. Because the alternative is the cult's version. You make a living by what you steal. And they're stealing from you and me. And in their world, you, they make a life by what they destroy. 
You're the white hat. I'm the white hat. All those you know and love that you touch, that get off the couch and support freedom in whatever shape or form they can do it, educating others. One of the things I do that's very simple is I have, I have a little card. And when I go to the gas station or I go to the, uh, the grocery store or go to a store, like easy at the gas station, you're pumping gas. I, I go, look at this price. This is crazy. There's no reason for this. Always the other person on the other side of the thing. You're right. You're right. I go, this is woeful. This shouldn't be happening. I go, you know what? If I relied on the bought off, what I call the bought off lame stream fake me, I really wouldn't know what's going on. But you know what? I have this card of some websites and I, and I found them to be helpful. Can I give you this? And you can, yeah. And on that, I have DaveJanda.com. I have ZeroHedge.com. I have LibertySentinel.org, Alex Newman. I have technocracy.news, Pat Wood. These are a, Sarah Westall.com. These are some of the websites that I give people to go to to hear something that they might not ever hear about. I also give them numana.com, N-U-M-A-N-N-A.com for storable food, storable water. I also have on there a, a Camino Company, a Precious Metals, I, the best precious metals company on the planet. Physical gold, physical silver. Camino, C-A-M-I-N-O, CaminoCompany.com. I, I, I give them these sites to go to on a card. Say, so, you know, I found these places helpful getting information that I wasn't getting from. I encourage you to do the same. I've never had anybody throw me the card back. You keep that. I get a lot of this. Thanks. You know, because I, I know something's wrong. I, 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 and I think I know what, but I don't know the depth of what. And it's because I, I can't get it. On these sources that I use, that I've tried to use, that they don't, don't know. It works. It works. I encourage you, at a minimum, try that. Or you take those cards and you give it to your friends, families, neighbors, coworkers, whatever. Say, hey, you know, I had a lot of questions. You know, you have to be specific. I had a lot of questions about what's really going on because this doesn't really add up. Right? What we're seeing economically, what we're seeing, our, I mean, it just doesn't add up. So here's some websites that I've gone to that have helped me. I encourage you to do that. It's a great first step. And then those people in your friends, families, neighbors, coworkers, they'll come back to say, you know, I went to that site. Did you see that? Did you see that article on such and such? I never, I never had that perspective before. What did you? What do you think? Freedom is calling you. You know, Uncle Sam wants you. <laughs> well, freedom wants you. You make a living by what you get. You make a life by what you get. I thank you. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. Stop on by. You will not be disappointed, but you will be educated and empowered every time you come by. We're there for you 24-7. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.